I've been in this a few years. It's time to try to make something happen. So from there, man, like I started grinding it out and I, w I just had a vision. I had something like instilled in my head. Like, I don't know where, when I'm going to get a shop or where it's going to be, but I know that I need to start buying barber chairs right now. And I know I need to start buying uh, whatever I can envision how it's going to look like at some point. So that's what I started doing, man. I started every bit of money, like two whole years I stayed in. I didn't go out anywhere, like just saving the streets. Saving. I would, you wouldn't see me, you know. Hell yeah. Stayed in, saved up. Like every month I would have spare money, bought a barber chair, you know. And they're, they're not cheap. I'm talking about like eight, nine hundred bucks a piece. Um, so, you know, get, you, you can guess how many little. months it took me to buy. I knew I needed stuff for five stations. You know, that was what I knew I needed to start off with. So I looked, was looking online. What do I want my stations to look like? You know, got different ideas. Saw the ones I like, started buying them one by one. So every item in my shop that you can walk in and see today, I bought, you know, one by one. And by the time I knew it, I had all this stuff in storage, you know. I had I had so much shit already. I needed a storage building. So That's what's up, man. That's kind of tight. Just yeah. like stacking that shit. Yeah. Um, a lot of people do. You That's know, some they, patience. They, they, yeah, yeah, they you, get the, you gotta have they get the shop, the area first, the location, and then they start buying the stuff. But yeah. you kind of did it in like a. All right, I don't got the location yet, but if I start with the stuff, yeah. then. But all, you gotta the know like your there, basic. That's it. You gotta know your basic. Like in any industry, you gotta know your basic tools and equipment and necessities, uh, necessities that you need. So let's say if I'm gonna be a tile worker, I know I gotta start buying my fucking tools tile and, cutter and yeah. my damn you know water saw or whatever it is like before you even think of doing anything else you know it's because you got to put your your mate what is that your major investment yeah you, know, you got to go shoot for it and knock it out you know knock out the big target first and then the, everything else comes okay comes so once it. you get the storage you get you got all the chairs and stuff there what's what's the next move man it's kind of funny because so at the time at, at that same time when all that shit was going on and it was said and done i'm like i'm ready to I'm close to making a move, so I talked to my boy Scissorhands, and I let him know, like, I'm close to making a move, you know. <clears throat> he didn't know how fast it was going to be, though, but coincidentally, it was around the same time they were going to move to the new spot on uh, May and 50th, where they're at now, the original shop. Uh, and by, by this time, I had already been, you know, after work, been driving around, looking at I knew I wanted my shop to be close to like the Midtown area, so that's where I drove around every day, like for months straight. You Just know, I to drove look for that like, right location. So I know that area like the back of my hand, you know, because I did a lot of like searching, you know. But coincidentally, I had talked to a dude about a building before the deal didn't go through, and he had my um, he had my contact. I have somewhere. He got one right there, bro. Oh. Yeah. He got I'm sorry. He had my contact, and uh, so when Scissors gives us the news that we're gonna move to the new building, like it was almost at the same time, I got a call from that dude. He's like, "Yeah, I got this building on Broadway. Come check it out." Hmm. That was like boom, boom. So at the time, you know, I'm a, my, I have a good faith in God. You know, I got a good relationship with him, and I was like, "If this is my sign, let me know." You know, so I take off. And I go look at the building, and I mean, we we wrote the check then and there. We're like, this is what right I want. On the spot. This is what I want. So. And to this day, it's that location. That's it's okay. that location. Three years, and, later, two and a half years later. Okay, nice, nice. So, um, what's the name of the barbershop? Supreme Barbering. Supreme Barbering. Supreme Barbering.